I love Asian artwork, and in this video, I'm going to be showcasing a Japanese artist, Katsukawa Shunsho, and this is around 1780, 1770, that sort of era, and we're going to be showcasing kabuki Asian theater pieces, and I just absolutely love these drawings. They're great for fine art prints. They're public domain. They're great for t-shirts, stickers, what have you. So in this video, join me as we jump into some really cool historical artwork. So a common question that I get is, are we really allowed to use these illustrations? They're beautiful. Are they really legal to use? And the answer is yes. On the Met's website, metmuseum.org, there's a thing here called open access at the Met. And open access means that things are basically public domain. And that's what Creative Commons Zero means. So I'm going to click on this little thing here, Creative Commons Zero, and I'm going to open that up. And Creative Commons Zero means it's public domain. There's no copyright, and it means that anyone can use this design for any reason. For commercial purposes, personal re reasons, doesn't matter, and you don't need to ask for permission. So I highly recommend going to the Met and looking up open access images. It's pretty easy to search. So what you do is on the search bar for the Met, and I'll put this link in the video description below, you're going to type in Shun Show, and then make sure that this open access is selected. And when you do that, you're going to get back about 275 results, and these are really, really cool. So for example, here is an image. This is woman in a black kimono, and you can see there's the actual photograph of the actual item that's on display in the museum, and then they have a high-res scan as well. So you can use either one. Now there's a couple ways you can download this. Over on the right-hand side, there's a download button. So when I click download, it's going to give me a high-res scan. When I click on it, it will show me. It's absolutely beautiful. It looks like it's a tapestry. It's not just a scan, but it's an actual physical item that sits in a museum. So this is a high-quality picture. And then from here, I can simply right-click, and then I can save as. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. There's also some Japanese lettering here down at the bottom as well. So I highly recommend saving this, and then you can use this for a fine art print or for a t-shirt design, a coffee mug, what have you. Here's another illustration that's for Kabuki Theater Samurai. And I love this because you can cut these out using Photoshop or Affinity Photo or Inkscape. You could basically take screenshots uh, and cut and paste this and you could move this around. So you could make a four wide image or you could just have one individually as well. Again, you'll click the image here on the bottom right to download. By simply doing that, it gives you a very high res scan. And then here you can right click and you can click save as. So it opens it up in a new window. That's a nice feature. This is seen from a drama. I, you know, these are from 1778. I mean, how cool is that? You can click on the image as well and you can see it'll give you a screenshot and then you can zoom in using the plus button. You can really zoom in as well. I mean, these are absolutely beautiful, high quality scans. How far in can we scan? I mean, my goodness, that is a big time zoom right there. Click the little X on the bottom right to close out. And then again, I can click the bottom right hand side to download this image. Right on the page, it says public domain right at the bottom. So you can rest assured that what you're using is legal. This isn't even on view at the museum. So we're getting a nice peek here into some history that maybe the public wouldn't be able to see easily. In addition to samurai and kabuki, there's also naturescapes as well. So here's a great picture of a bird. I'm going to click the little plus button here so we can see it a bit easier. Now some of these scans are not going to be as high res as others. So you can see this is starting to get blurry. So you may want to just use this as say a background or you would just move on to another image. There's over 270 images here, so you could pick something that would satisfy your artistic needs. So a common question I get is, how do I actually use these designs? So I've got a couple strategies. The first one is just to use it as is. Simply download this and then digitally clean it up. So I would remove the outer piece of this picture and maybe replace it with a frame or replace it with a different mat or I would actually have the artist's name underneath it with the year. And that way you're changing the image enough that if you were to upload it onto Redbubble or TeePublic or wherever, you're not uploading an identical copy as someone else. Another option is to have some sort of a Japanese quote 
underneath. So for example, samurai, there's lots of like warrior quotes and honor quotes and that kind of thing. They're not directly related to this artist, but because it's a Asian piece of art with a samurai, you could use that similar genre. I really hope you found this video helpful. I absolutely love scrolling through the Met Museum. Their open access is amazing. 275 images here, all sorts of different genres, and they're absolutely gorgeous images. I'd highly recommend clicking on them, zooming in, and celebrating some great history here by a very, very talented and beautiful artist. Thanks a lot for watching. Here's another video if you're interested in public domain images, and I really hope you have fun creating. Thanks a lot for watching.